Page two of our review for the upcoming assessment on uh, piecewise functions. So continuing on here, um, let's look and see number three. So we're asked to graph an equation on a stated interval. So we're graphing a line, but on a restricted domain. Easiest way to do this, they're telling me to graph it from negative two to three. So those are the perfect points to pick. So negative three X plus two. So let's see what happens at negative two and positive three. So negative three, negative two plus two. That's six plus two, that is eight, okay? So the point negative two, eight. So negative two, eight is right here. And I know that that is a closed circle because of this interval has brackets on both sides. And then if I substitute a three, negative three times three plus two, that's negative nine plus two, which is negative seven. So three, negative seven, one, two, three, negative seven is right here. So I just need to connect the dots between both of those points. So connecting the dots and I get something that looks like Okay, I think you get the point. Uh, there we go, okay. So that is the graph of the function. So I have graphed negative three X plus two with the X restricted to negative two to positive three. Now let's move on. I believe there's another one very similar to that. Graph F of X equal F five X minus four from negative one to infinity. So I've got X and then I'm graphing 5x minus 4. So negative 1 is the logical point to pick. So 5 times negative 1 minus 4. That's negative 5 minus 4. That is negative 9. So negative 1, negative 9 is right here. And that is a closed circle right there. And then it looks like I'm graphing to infinity. So let's figure out um, what points I can graph along the way. Um, let's just pick some points. So if I pick two, um, if I pick the value of two, five times two minus four, that's 10 minus four, that is six. So the point two, six is on the graph. So that gives me an indication of what the graph is doing now. So it starts here and it goes all the way up in this direction. And, and let's just move this point to get it a little bit more accurate. So right there, that should be good enough. And since I'm graphing from negative one to infinity, I will have an arrow on the end of this graph. So now I've graphed f of x equal five x minus four from negative one to infinity. We will continue on with page three and uh, I'll just keep on going. So page three, graph the piecewise function with the given information, okay? So it looks like I've got a function that's in two different pieces. Uh, so I've got negative infinity to two and two to infinity. So let's graph it, we'll use two different colors. So I've got X and then I'm trying to graph minus two X plus five. So this is going to be graphed from negative infinity up to two. So I'm going to obviously pick the point two. So negative two times two plus five, that's five minus four, that is one. So the point two, one is on the graph and that is a closed circle because of the bracket there. Now I'm graphing this from negative infinity to two, so I just need another point in order to graph this. Let's just pick say negative five. It doesn't matter, I could pick any number between negative infinity and two. So um, actually I'm not gonna pick that, that'd be too large uh, for my graph. Let's pick something a little bit smaller. So we'll just say, um, um, we'll say negative, th negative two, let's just do that. Negative two, so negative two, times negative two 
plus 5, that's 5 plus 4 equal 9. So negative 2, 9. So negative 2, positive 9 is right here. Okay. So that is a point on my graph. So my graph will do this. Okay. With an arrow. So that's negative infinity up to 2. And now let's switch colors. I need to graph x plus 2. That needs to be graphed over the interval 2 to infinity with a parenthesis. So I'm still going to pick the value of 2. So 2 plus 2 equal 4. So the point 2, 4 with an open circle. Okay, that's 2, 4 with an open circle. Let's just pick another point. We'll pick 5. So 5 plus 2 equals 7. So the point 5, 7 is right here. So it looks like this graph does this. Okay. Now they're asking me for the domain of this function. The domain of this function, so if I look at my x values, so if I travel along the x-axis, I'm getting values from negative infinity all the way to positive infinity. So the domain of this function is negative infinity to positive infinity. To find the range of this function, so the range of this function, I start here at the y-axis, I travel upward, I do not get values until I get to, what is that, point 1. Okay, so I start getting values on the graph at 1, and then it looks like I continue to get graphs from 1 to infinity. So the range of this function is 1 to infinity, and it includes the value of 1. Okay? And the next problem, graphing another piecewise function. So let's continue on with this one. This one is in three pieces, okay? So same process, just a little bit more organization. Um, I need to graph, the first piece is negative x plus two. That's graphed over the interval from negative infinity to negative four. So obviously I wanna pick the point negative four. And so the negative of negative four plus two is equal to six. So negative 4, 6, but open circle. Open circle because I have a parenthesis there. So I'm graphing from negative infinity up to that point. So I need another point to the left of that. So let's just say negative 6. So if I take a negative 6, that's the negative of negative 6 plus 2. That is 8. So negative 6, 8. So negative 6, 8 is on the graph. So this function does this. Okay, that's the first piece of my function. The next piece says f of x equals negative 2. So when f of x equal negative 2, that's, remember that's the graph of y equal negative 2. That's a horizontal line at negative 2. Okay, and that is over the interval from negative 4 to 1, inclusive. So the graph of y equal negative 2 from negative 4 over to 1. So that looks like this. That's the graph of y equal negative 2. And then the last piece I need to graph is x plus 3. So x plus 3, I need to graph that over the interval 1, 5. Okay, so I'm going to use the points 1 and 5. So 1 plus 3 is 4. And 5 plus 3 equals 8. So the point 1, 4 will be an open circle and the point 5, 8 will be a closed circle and we would just play connect the dots and we're good to go. Now they asked me for the domain of this function. So domain travel left to right. It looks like the domain is going to be negative infinity and it looks like I'm getting x values continuously until I get to 5. So the domain of this function is negative infinity up to 5 with a bracket. The range of this function, that one's a little trickier. So it looks like if I start down here at the y-axis, so let's just highlight here. So I'm getting no values until I get to, what, negative 2. Okay? So negative 2, that is a number that is in my range. Okay? But you see, I get negative 2 values, and then I don't get any more values until I get up to uh, 4. 
So then I start to get values. So I start to get values from four, and it looks like all the way to infinity at that point. So then negative two, and then I get range values from four to infinity. But if I look at that four, that's an open circle. So I get this, okay? So the range, the y values that this graph has, it has y values at negative two. I see that right here. And then it has y values at four to infinity, okay? Not including four, okay? That should be the end of that page, okay? We'll pause and come back for another video.